Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like what we're doing over here, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and all those other buttons that show support for the channel. We breaking truckers today. That's what we do over here on the Lockout Men Podcast Show. We break truckers from all social media platforms, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, all truckers that has interesting content. And in today's Breaking Truckers segment, we're breaking NY Trucking Princess. Yes, sir. We had a great conversation with NY Trucking Princess. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that conversation. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so when that pops up, unfortunately, in these clips right here, NY Trucking Princess was a victim of death. Unfortunately, she had her truck parked over at the Freightliner. She came back to her truck after dropping off the dropping off the rental and noticed that her truck door was wide open and some very very sentimental value and important items that was missing from her truck. Um this right here hit close to home and i'm going to say why because i was a victim of theft a couple of years ago i had my go bag sitting on my front seat of my truck unfortunately somebody ran up on me took my go bag which was about four four to five thousand dollars worth of gear um a $3,000 computer, couple of GoPros, couple of cameras, knickknacks, um, my, uh, hard drives, you name it. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to, you know, retrieve my items. You know, I had, um, there's like a little tracking on the computer, but unfortunately they couldn't get into the computer because it was password protected. So again, like I said, this unfortunate situation that happened to this young lady, you know, it, it, like I said before, it hit close to home because it happened to me, but another sentimental value, uh, piece that was also taken hurt this young lady very, very deeply. Let's check out the clip. Hold on. Hey, guys. What's up? It's your girl, NY Trucking Princess. I'm sitting down here today in Georgia. I just got back to my truck. Um, I've been down. I've been off for about two weeks. I took two weeks off because I had to get some work done on the truck. So it's been here at the shop. And I've just, you know, been spending time with the family for two weeks now. Well, I get back here. I have to go drop a rental car off because the place closes at five o'clock. So the truck is dead when I get out here. Okay. I tell them, you know, I call them out here. The truck's dead. You need to jump it off because all that money that I just paid, I just paid $6,300 to this place to fix my truck. 6,300. So I tell them, okay, I'm going to go drop the rental off. And they say, okay, no problem. We're open until six. We'll jump it off while you're gone and it'll be, you know, it'll be ready when you come back. Okay. So the rental car place is no more than like 20 minutes away. I go, I drop the rental off and I tell the guy before I leave, Hey, I have an extra set of keys. I always keep three or four sets in the truck just in case, you know? So I said, you know, lock the door. You don't have to, you know, keep it unlocked or whatever because I have extra keys. Okay go drop the rental off, come back. I get Enterprise to bring me back. When I get back to my truck, the door is freaking wide open. You hear me? Wide open. No one's around. The door is wide open. And I got a bag that's missing now. What? That's very valuable, you know? Someone make it make sense. So now I'm sitting here waiting on the police because I have to file a police report. Make it make sense. $6,300 plus my bag is gone and I can't get it back. No one knows where it is. Their cameras here don't 
conveniently don't point this way and there's trucks blocking the camera you know because i'll show you guys hold on now see these trucks here are conveniently blocking where my truck was parked because it was parked about two spaces over my trailer was two spaces over and so no one knows anything all he tells me is yeah file a police report because unfortunately the cameras don't show this angle yeah middle georgia freightliner in macon georgia this is a damn shame it like it really is you know i'm gonna see what these police are gonna say and i'll get back to you so you guys the police just left here um it took them about a good hour to get here no problem and like i said the the only thing that i could do was file a police report which basically does nothing but the good thing is is that my um airpods were in there also so if they turn those on whoever has that bag you know whoever if they decide to connect those airpods it's gonna track them because i can track it on my phone um unfortunately they were dead so i can't see anything right now but if they decide to turn them on they're in freaking trouble so that is what happened today um i just gotta keep smiling i mean i can't do anything else it's just been rough but you know what are you gonna do about it you're either gonna laugh or you're gonna cry so i just choose to be positive you guys have a good day i'm gonna go make my pickup um right over here not too far away and i'm gonna be back on my way to chicago again have a good day guys hey good morning guys what's up um i have pretty much been driving all night long until my freaking clock ran out and you know i i just try to have a good day but this whole fucking year has been just terrible you know one right after the other one thing after another after another and I think yesterday with me, you know, getting my bag stolen, that was like the final straw. Um, you know, not so much the AirPods. I don't give a shit about those. I mean, I can, those can be replaced. But what was in there was also a necklace that had um, Robert's ashes in them. And, you know, some stuff that he had bought for me and stuff like that that can't be replaced you know like he's gone he's been gone a year um who steals a dead fucking person's ashes you know with their wedding band on the you know on the necklace or whatever like who the fuck steals that shit who the fuck like is so heartless that they take shit like that you know like it doesn't make sense you know you just try to have like one good day you know and it's like it's 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 too much like it's way too much you know i just you know i don't know what to do anymore um i've been battling this for like over a year you know since he passed you know like the whole depression thing i just like try to you know stay positive and everything but that just took me over the edge you know um how how could you be so fucking heartless you know how could you fucking crackhead employee i don't know what the fuck like i've been driving all night thinking about this you know what i could have done differently you know like and then I come back and my fucking door is like wide open and you guys don't see any fucking thing. Like, how could you? What if this was your mother, father, sister, brother, you know, whatever. Like, that's like the only piece that I had of him, you know, like, make it make sense. You know, nothing can be done. So... I'm just gonna go to sleep. I'm, you know, I'm done. I'm really, really done. 
Man, I am so, so sorry that this has happened to this young lady, man. I mean, that sentimental value that was taken from her cuts real, real deep. Real deep. You know, to the to the scumbag that did that. You 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 know karma is coming back for you. Tenfold. Tenfold, my G. Whoever whoever took this young lady's bag with, with that sentimental value to her, is it's gonna cut you real deep, bruh. It's gonna cut you real deep. That wasn't that wasn't even cool. Just know that karma is gonna come back at you tenfold. For real. Because that was some scumbag scumbag stuff they the 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 air pods can be replaced but that sentimental value item can't and it's just unfortunate that you did this to this young lady NY trucking princess all right again I am so, so sorry that happened. Um, keep your head up, little lady. Keep your head up. You got to be strong. You know, I know it's going to be hard, but you got to stay strong for yourself so you can continue to, to, to move on. You're a strong young lady. Then if any time you want to reach out and talk, reach out. I am so sorry that that happened to you. Uh, hopefully you're able to, you know, able to get it back. If somebody was crazy enough to turn on your AirPods and you're able to track, you know, track it. So, you know, you could pass that information on to the police so that, you know, they can, you know, hopefully retrieve it for you. But that's going to do it for Breaking Truckers. We broke NY Trucking Princess today. Yo, NY Trucking Princess, again, shout out to you. Make sure you stay safe. And guys, make sure you catch the conversation that me and NY Trucking Princess had. Great conversation. Great young lady. She, she's just a joy to talk to. All right. All right. Till next time, everybody. Stay tuned for the next Breaking Truckers coming soon.